Hey guys, we're back. Shh. Oh, you all had a good Christmas? I'm recording this on New Year's Eve, but because of the time difference thing, I don't know if you've already passed New Year's or not. If you have, Happy New Year and all that. Right, Newman still not opened his uh, his presents. Oh well, give it another week and then first come first serve, I guess. But yes, I finished the end portal. I'm pretty sure you know about that. Just on with Dash. Uh, Warus is making a kind of uh, enemy of himself. Let's call it that. He changed all our signs to, uh, as you can see, the ones who haven't changed back. He's changed them all to Warus. I managed to change mine. Now, uh, Dash! <laughs> Warruses will be shot on sight. It's pretty much laid down like, his intention straight away that once um, Warrus comes on, he's going to kill him. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's that. Also, the reason he's going to kill him, by the way, is... Uh, the reason he's going to kill him is he's been on his island and pranked him, even though he's just made a big A, A-team sign. Pro prank, <laughs> as Tash put it. But yes, that's by the by. Something to show you, which I've made at my place. I've been working on a machine, which I don't think I've mentioned. It's finished. Just it wasn't something I wanted to record making because there were so many things that could go wrong and so many things I needed to like play with whilst I was building it, if you see what I mean. Keep an eye on you. <laughs> I will dash. Don't, don't, don't worry. If he logs in, he dies. But yeah, Walrus. What are you doing, man? What are you making an enemy of yourself for? He you blew a hole, intentionally or whatever, in my track. But I managed to see it before I fell in it. <laughs> Put your <laughs> head straight under chest. Yes, Dash has got a pick missing. And, uh, seeing as what's happened recently, blaming Walrus seems to be the trend, so why not? <laughs> But yeah, this machine I've been working on, I'll not give away what it is until we get to it. But the thing it does has been stolen. Now, Warus swears it wasn't him. And it's not a big deal because it's not its not like it's a precious resource. It's just something you tend to need lots of. And I know Warus has been here, but whatever. Where am I going? Going the wrong way. But yeah, and stolen might not be the word. I mean, anyone could have been in. Like, I know Demner's been on recently. Don't look at the machine. Um, he might have just been having a look around, saw this thing and thought, well, I'll take what I need. A bit strange, but whatever. But yeah. It's an automatic tree machine. I guess that's the word. You grow the tree, it pushes the, well, it crushes the leaves, moves the log or the trunk of the tree along. When it gets to here, it pushes it there. So once you've got a line of logs there, then all this pushes. And you end up with a big block. Now, I've not worked out exactly how much it gives. In fact, I might do that. Bear with me. Oh, actually, it holds more than I thought. I thought it held about 500, 550, something like that. But, uh, I've made this one higher than it ought to be, I think. I think the top one will only ever go there. But that means that this would hold, let's call it 700, because they're not all going to be the same height. Just under 700 logs. Now, this was full. So, someone's been here and, uh, took it all. Now, that's got to be premeditated, hasn't it? That's a lot of inventory space. 
But anyway, like I said, I'm not bothered. That's what this machine is for. If it's that I'd gone out and leveled a forest, then maybe. <laughs> but no. But you might. It's not something. Oh, it's grown. Okay, it's grown naturally. It's not something which uh, is totally original. It's. Um, <clears throat> it's based on a design. Oh, I can't remember the guy's the guy's name. Cubecraft, possibly. I'm not sure. I'll not remember to put this in the description either. But he's got some really, really good tutorials on how to build things, how to understand things. And, uh, I'd highly recommend him. So when I do remember his name, I'll mention it. I'm pretty sure it's Cubecraft. Doesn't sit right though for some reason. But anyway. So uh yeah, this was his design, but for some reason it wasn't working right. Now it could be because of updates and things, so I've had to adapt it and I've added a few little things to it as well. So yeah, how it works is master switch there. that there, that obviously can't transmit the redstone signal. Once it turns into a log it can, it hits that, goes under there, fires all this off. It's all timed pretty much perfectly. That The leaves are crushed and... what's that one doing? Oh, don't tell me it's not working. Someone been messing with my machine. <laughs> uh, let me try it before I go any further. Interesting. Just that top one. This is working fine the other day. What the hell? I know when I was showing it to Hatman, we are. Uh, a creeper right, sneaked up on us and blew up here and blew some of this out, but I've replaced all that. Oh, let's just call it server lag. I know it works, unless someone's messed with it. And I'm not going to have a video of me just checking redstone. Yes, so as you can probably guess how it works, put this down, force it to grow. I said that fills in the signal, it pushes along, blah blah blah, you end up with a big cube of wood. I've had a look at it, like off off camera, there's no reason that's not working, everything's getting power. Hmm. Everything's getting power, so I guess it's just server lag. And I'm hoping this redstone update that's coming next, 1.5, is supposed to remove all these quirks. Well, it might kill the machine entirely, but it might get rid of this problem. But anyway, yeah, so he kept doing that. He'll end up with a cube of wood. Now, even four high is not bad. Though, you're probably wondering, how oh, is this different from the from the guy I like, took the idea from, I like, took his tutorial. The difference is, for whatever reason, this might be down to the server again. That bottom one doesn't extend right, so I had to add more to force it to extend. Now, luckily, I think that's the only piston in in this bank that can be extended already. Like one of them, so it's a double piston extender all the way up. Now this one, because the bottom one never has leaves around it, or very rarely, I mean, I don't see that. Turned off world saving. Hmm. Uh, look into that, <laughs> but yeah that one can be extended so it gets away with it and other things I've added is um, now I know there's another way around this you could have this big enough that the pistons can't push any further because at the minute you've got danger of the pistons over pushing you see what I mean they push that out which would break this they'll push over that which stops this happening so they'll not fire but just as a little indicator, I 
might clean this up, but uh, there's a lamp or a light just down here. So if this light is on, the store is full. Do not use. <laughs> Dash is going through uh, Walrus's stuff, trying to find his missing things. But yeah, if you put that on, that completes the signal. And the light's on. That's really all it is now. I know we're going to have a, a fireworks display. That's all in place. Well, the, the setup is anyway. Not really anyone on worth doing a display. So, the New Year's firework display doesn't necessarily have to be on New Year's. Could be tomorrow. Like I said, we've got the time difference thing that we can't like all wait till midnight. We all have different midnights pretty much. But yes, I'll not include that in this video. If we do have the firework display, and I'm sure we will, regardless if it's New Year's or not, I'll have that as a, a separate thing. But I just wanted to make a like a, an issue of this. It's, a, it's not difficult to make. It's fairly expensive with all the pistons, but uh, I think it's worth it because I'm using a lot of wood now, and knowing that you've got a a big block of wood waiting for you. It's, uh, it's good. I just wish there was a way to automate the growing. Now before anyone screams feed the beast at me, I've been playing feed the beast. Not on a server, just me. Just learning it because I'm, I'm new to all that stuff. It's good. I'm enjoying it, if I'm honest. I might make a series of that. I don't know yet. I, I feel like I don't know enough about feed the beast yet to like Make a, make a video of it. it a lot of it will just be me like fumbling my way through I don't know, videos like that can be entertaining but uh, <laughs> not f not with me it won't be he'll just get uh, frustrated very frustrated as I will <laughs> so until I get better at that I highly doubt you're going to see any feed the beast from me some guys on here have talked about setting up a server I'm not going to do that I've already got this server and running too. It's not impossible, but it's not something I'm looking at at the minute. And plus, getting a feed the beast server that runs consistently and efficiently does seem to be a bit of an issue. Because I'd like it to be hosted if I did do one, rather than run it from my own computer, which I'm sure could easily handle it. But that means then opening up my IP to everyone else and it's you know it's a bit a bit weird. So yeah, feed the beast, it's cool, it's not for everyone as I know. So uh, I'm gonna continue with this for now. So with that I think I shall move on. So also, uh, yeah, another thing, I'm not gonna say and next time we're doing blah blah blah, because it's very rare that, that actually happens as I'm sure you've noticed. So, uh, yes, that's my machine, <laughs> and uh, if Dash finds anything at Warus's place, I'm sure you'll find out. So Warus, watch your back guy, alright? <laughs> Catch you later guys.